Welcome to the program. There was certainly a lot of action on the state's business and political scenes this week. Let's get right to the rundown, beginning with the latest poll numbers from Talk Business and Hendricks College. 542 likely Republican voters were surveyed in the 4th Congressional District. And the results? There are three Republican candidates vying for the 4th District Congressional seat, Tom Cotton, John Cowart, and Beth Ann Rankin. If the election were today, for whom would you vote? 38.5% Tom Cotton, 4% John Cowart, 38.5% Beth Ann Rankin, and 19% don't know. If former Arkansas Governor Mike Huckabee endorsed a candidate for Congress, would it influence your vote? 50-50. 50% yes. 50% said no. Four Republican presidential candidates have qualified to be on the ballot in the May 22nd primary. Newt Gingrich, Ron Paul, Mitt Romney, and Rick Santorum. If the election were today, for whom would you vote? 15% said Newt Gingrich. 6% said Ron Paul, Mitt Romney 46.5%, and 24% for Rick Santorum. 8.5% of GOP voters in the 4th District still don't know. The University of Arkansas recently fired head football coach Bobby Petrino. Do you agree with the decision to fire Petrino? 84% said yes, only 6% said no, and 10% were undecided. Time now to talk politics and analyze what some of these numbers mean. I caught up earlier in the day with Jason Tolbert, conservative blogger on TalkBusiness.net, with his Tolbert Report for more. Our Talk Business Hendricks College poll has this race as a dead heat. Cotton 38%, Rankin 38%. Jason, are you surprised? Well, it's surprising to see how Tom Cotton has closed the gap. Uh, The last poll we saw was an internal poll some months back, which showed Rankin with a large lead. Uh, She was up, I think, 40 to 5 against Cotton, and she's now closed that number, or Cotton has closed that number on her to where it's tied, 38-38. So we've seen that Cotton's uh, campaign has has paid some dividends already. We know he's already spent some money down in that district, traveling the district extensively, and, and so we've seen results from that. So it would appear from that that he has a lot of momentum to come in to catch her entire Beth Ann Rankin was the 2010 nominee challenger to Congressman Mike Ross at the time. Now that seat's open. Do you sense that this poll suggests that 4th District Republican voters were dissatisfied with Rankin's performance in 2010? I mean, she she did get beat by 18 percent in the district in a year when Republicans really won all over the state, even in places they weren't expected to. Sure. I don't know if dissatisfied is the word uh, I would use. I think they're open to a new candidate. Uh, the, the poll that, that she put out, her campaign put out, showed that she has wide name recognition. I think 80% of the district knows who she is, but that same poll, she only had 40% support. So while most people have heard of Beth Ann Rankin, they're still undecided whether she's, is gonna, she should be the nominee or not. So I think Cotton has a chance to go in and make his case that he would be a better nominee than she would be. I think there's still a lot of voters down in that district that haven't made up their minds yet. I think we're going to see a lot of money spent over the next three or four weeks as those candidates try to define themselves and try to appeal to those voters. It's tied 38 to 38 with about a month to go. Who do you think has the advantage? Well, I think right now Tom Cotton has all the momentum. Uh, as we see, he's closed that gap, so his number's on the rise, you'd have to think. Uh, voting starts in just two weeks, so I think a, a lot of ads are going to really be hitting these next couple weeks. And Cotton has the money advantage by a long shot. I think he has a three to one cash advantage on Rankin, and most of that cash is available for him to spend during the primary. It's not designated for the general. So he really has the ability to bombard that district with a number of ads. Uh, there's several media markets he has to buy ads in, uh, but I, I think you'll see those on every, every station. We threw a question in regarding the Huckabee influence, former Arkansas Governor Mike Huckabee. Obviously, he's being used by the Rankin campaign as an asset. He even came out uh, this week with a campaign video that took a few swipes at Tom Cotton. Uh, in your opinion, does, does Mike Huckabee do more good or more harm if he endorses you in this race? Well, you know, we saw uh, the results of that poll. 50% said they uh, would be influenced by it. 50% said they wouldn't. We're not sure whether the, those who would be influenced by it could be a positive or a negative. Uh, we, we feel like Governor Huckabee's probably still 
very popular down in the 4th Congressional District. That's where he's from, that part of the state. And so you have to think it's positive to have him endorse your campaign. Uh, the question is, will it be enough? I mean, will that endorsement be enough to convince voters? Uh, I don't think anyone uh, is surprised that he endorsed her. He endorsed her last time. Uh, she's a former staff member of his. They're obviously very close. So I think the endorsement is one of those ones that's expected. It's not really something that uh, people that really raised some eyebrows and took people by surprise. So it does help. I don't know that it helps enough. We asked GOP voters in the 4th District about the presidential race, Jason, even though it seems that Mitt Romney is the presumptive nominee. You can kind of look at these results two ways. You can either say Mitt Romney hasn't broken 50% with Republican voters, or you could say he has a 2 to 1 advantage over his uh, closest rival, Rick Santorum. H how do you view the poll result? Sure. You know, it would really been interesting to see what that poll would have shown us a week and a half, two weeks ago, before Rick Santorum dropped out. Uh, I think it's really established now that Romney is going to be the nominee. Uh, there's really no way he, he won't be unless something catastrophic happens. So I think what you're seeing in that poll is people are coming to terms with that. I think that's a process. Uh, I think Arkansas voters will get there, but I think it's still kind of fresh uh, for a lot of people to for him to be the nominee. I think some people were still looking towards the May uh, primary here in Arkansas and hoping that it would still be a race. Uh, that's not the case anymore, but that's, that's relatively recent that that's been that way. So I think people are, are warming up to Mitt Romney. I think it will take him um, some time, uh, but I think if he makes his case, then he'll, they'll warm up to him. And he'll certainly carry Arkansas by, by a huge margin. I think the poll we had a few weeks back had him carrying Arkansas by over 20 points. And I think that'll certainly be the case come November. Last question, about 14 to 1 support. 14 to 1 support for Jeff Long's decision to fire Bobby Petrino. I just got to ask, are you going to spearhead the, the Jeff Long for governor in 2014 campaign? I think I would have to wait in a long line to spearhead that campaign. I, I think if he ran as a Republican or a Democrat or a Green Party or a Libertarian or an Independent, whatever he decided to run as, I think he would walk into the governor's office. Uh, so hopefully if he does do that, I, I hope he, uh, he decides to run as a conservative in the state. Uh, but uh, who, who knows what his politics are. He certainly is, is well liked right now and people respect the decision he made. I think he showed uh, a lot of integrity in that decision and um, you know, he made uh, some lemonade out of some lemons. Uh, he had a tough situation and hopefully some good will come out of, out of his actions.